Good morning, everyone. Today I will show you a bit of a hidden area. If you look on the map at the Char homelands, basically, you have to go to, um, what is it called again? The Plateau, right. Go to the Nolan Waypoint and head over to town of Nolan. Because over here, once I get there, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There is a hidden area, basically, or very hard to get to. People don't really know of it. Right, you have to find this really rusty set of wheels. Let me try and get up here. As you can see, there's a pipe there, on that one, but there's some more around the back. Oh, I'm already getting stuck. That's not a good start for this video. I managed to do it before, so I should be able to do it now. Alright, basically, navigate yourself behind the largest wheel you can find. Which may be tricky on its own. How did I do it yesterday? Alright, I think I was jumping from across here. Maybe not. Ah, right. It's right from the entrance, basically. You go to the sides here. Jump up on this bit. And it allows you to get behind the giant wheel. From here... I think go way to the back again. Onto these, if I remember correctly. Um, we have to get up there, so yeah. This way. Right, that's all around the back side, right behind there, and it allows you to go here. You see those two pipes, one of them you can actually enter. It's a little bit tricky this. Carefully you don't fall off. Here we are. Over to this side, and into the pipe. Good. Once you're inside the pipe, just follow it. You've basically already made it. The jumping puzzle is over. Get out of this pipe. And find a hidden area that's not even mentioned on the map anywhere. It's like a little garden place. But it gets even better. Here's a face of something. No idea what it meant to be. But if you actually go all the way up here. Ooh, there's one single char. Enya Fairmind. And she has a lot of strawberries. She has a little strawberry batch here. Isn't that great? You can actually harvest the strawberries, but I don't have the correct tool. So there you have it. That's a little bit of a secret included after the jumping puzzle. Speaking of jumping puzzles, if you stay in the same area and go to the breached wall waypoint, there's actually a skill point to be earned, which is after a series of jumps as well. I will show you how to do it. I hope I don't fail. Right, basically from the waypoint you walk all the way across to this place where you find a staircase going up. Easy enough so far. The tricky bit about this uh, jumping puzzle is there will be ghosts on the way. But if you're fast enough you can actually just avoid them. Uh, I have to go down here. onto this ledge. We're basically climbing the Great Wall from well, Guild Wars 1, but also Guild Wars 2. Oop. Oop. There we go. It's all go oh no! So yeah, you have to be careful. Right, I'm back here. See if I can make it this time without falling. You have to be careful not to double tap any of your movement keys because you'll just roll. Which is handy sometimes, but not always. Up there is the skill point. But we actually have to go back a little bit to go higher. Which is around this way. All the way up. There's not a ghost. There's actually two ghosts. Oops, what am I doing? Can't see where I'm jumping. Great. But I'm only down here, so I'll just go quickly back up. 
Oh, so now I get my speed buff. Great. Just when I didn't want it. And... Yep. Made it. Past these guys. There we are. Good, now we're up here. Oh, there's another ghost. This is a long jump. I have to go all the way down again onto this ledge. Up here. This is a little bit tricky. Basically, so far we've come all the way here, so we're over halfway. We want to try and get onto... Oh! Balls. Past those guys. Up here. Right. And now I have to jump down there again. Here we go, we're back. And I filled again. Let's see. Oh. Let's see if I can do it this time. Yeah, so you kind of have to do it at an angle. Oh. Right, so you have to approach it at an angle. Like this. Alright. There we go. Up the stairs. You have to, ooh, here you have to jump across. Right. And you can't actually make it up there right away. You have to walk around the staircase. As such. Although I'm being crippled by all the ghosts. There. Once you're at the top, you have to fight someone for the skill points. This guy. I've already done it, so I don't have to fight him again. But there you go. Right, and there's an even more difficult jumping puzzle right over here. You'll have to go to the Lawclaw Waypoint, which is uh, at the char starting area. It's not loading for me at the moment, but... You have to go here, then run into the water. You just head this way, you go underwater, until you find some bushes. It's not really clear to see, but you can actually go behind them. So just swim through the bushes. Um, yep, there we are. It's a little bit fiddly, but you should be able to make it. Once here, get back to the surface. We have to go all the way up here. This is a really nasty jumping puzzle. Well, once you're here, let's start. Easy enough. Jump on the sides. And move up. Over this little ledge, this bar here, into this stepping stone, and this one, and the one there, and this. Then you have to jump onto this little ledge. I practiced a little bit before f filming it. Didn't want to mess up too much. Right, this is quite a long jump. I like using my speed buff, but you don't need to, because you just dump, jump the same distance. Also, the world will start shaking quite a few times. Onto here. And jump. Stepping stones. Ooh, there we go. Here you have to be careful because, as you can see, the red rings. Spikes will come out when you stand in them. Once the first one vanishes, the second one will vanish. Third, and you can actually jump over. From here, there's another one of those wooden bars. You can walk across. Ooh. Yeah, the world will keep on shaking here. Right, so this is sort of the first checkpoint. You can see some animals here. A doe, a deer, a stag, a bird. It's very misty outside, but that is Ascalon. Moving on to the rest of the jumping puzzle, because we're not done yet. No. It goes even further up. It gets even harder. See there, all the fire bits. You have to scale all the way up those things as well. So here we go. Ooh. There. Here at the fire bits, you really have to be careful. Let's see. I always focus on the second one. It fires five times, so that's the last one. You can stand here. I have to be careful because in the center of this archway is also fire. And it goes irregularly. But I figured if you just run it... Oh! Apparently you shouldn't be fine. 
But maybe I'm able to survive it. Let's see. Oh, no. Fire. They just return to the waypoint if you fail and try it again. Right, I am back here. Let's see if I can do it this time. Here we go. Yes, made it across. I have to go onto these stone steps here. Oh, don't mind the shaking bit because you don't actually fall off or anything. It's just the camera that sort of moves away. On the next bit, you really have to run quickly up or you get hit by falling stones. There, I made it. From here, you're basically good to go. What you have to do is jump over there. As you can see, wait, it's already an Ascalon Archer there. Strange. There should actually be a chest that you can highlight. That's what I had yesterday when I first tried it. But now you can see an Ascalon Archer. Anyway, to jump across, don't jump straight away. You have to jump to the side. So line yourself up like this. Once you're here, make a jump, leap of faith. Ooh, I'm already being attacked right away. Yeah, there is a boss here. And since I have no chance of beating this boss on my own, I'll show you some footage of when I did it with a friend. Thing is, when I actually did it with a friend, I had a different boss. We had a Shadow Skulk Matriarch instead of Captain Ravenwood, which you just saw when I did it by myself. I'm not sure what the requirements are for the different bosses, or if it's just random. But anyway, if you do kill the boss here, when you complete the event, the chest opens, but I think it's a placeholder, because you don't get any loot from it. You can loot the boss, however. In the same area, we did actually encounter another uh, skull. And we killed it as well, but we it wasn't a random event or anything. It was just a separate enemy in the area. You can loot it for some rewards, but this is basically the entire jumping puzzle here. It's a nice little hidden area, and I hope ArenaNet adds a lot more of them. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you even learned something. And be sure to check back for more Guild Wars 2 beta event videos. There's a lot more coming up. So thanks for watching and have a good day.